And my name's Cheryl Wheatley and I work at the school here on Flinders Island and I'm the art specialist teacher as well as wellbeing support. I am a fifth generation Flinders Islander on both sides of my family, so pretty deep rooted family ties to the island. It's untouched, it's magical, it's, it's a pure environment, you know, with the, I think the best air in the, in the world to breathe. My name is Ryan Marnie. I am the production manager for Terrapin. Our week started on Tuesday with a team of six coming up from Hobart to Bridport to catch a flight over to Flinders Island. That team would then go on to deliver two days of shadow play workshops. On Wednesday, we had a team of three fly up with another airline from Hobart to the island who would then get to deliver our Scaredy Cat show on Friday. And then this afternoon, Friday afternoon, we have all piled onto two planes to return back. The, the brief for this trip really is community engagement at its core. I'm Bella. I'm one of the puppeteers on the show Scaredy Cat. We're on our 89th show today. School touring can be quite gruelling. We're going to two schools a day for five days a week. The smiles that we've seen getting off the planes this afternoon have been absolutely fantastic. It's always nice hearing them talk about the show as you're performing it, because it's non-verbal. We really like to let them discuss and work things out as the performance is happening. When you go to really regional towns, the kids have a real sense of community even when they're in the audience together. And there are those discussions that you hear, but it's not just between the kinders and the grade ones. You know, you hear the grade sixes talking with the kinders. My favorite part was like the slow motion when the cat jumped from the cupboard onto the couch in slow motion. I loved how the cat was being moved. It was, it actually looked so real. It was amazing. Getting uh, quite a large show and nine people onto, onto charter aircraft is, has been uh, a bit of a challenge. It's not regular, it's the cost of getting here for people who want to bring shows and all of that. So it's every couple of years they might see something. I'm Tanya Maxwell and I'm here with Terrapin running shadow play workshops with the Flinders Island School. I'm Sarah Wright, I'm an artist and I'm here with Terrapin. They got to do everything from planning the script to making the characters to performing it and getting a role and being the sound effects. And then they got to see themselves at the end, which they were really excited and says, oh, that's me. <laughs> we had to like sort of make up our own lines on the spot when we were talking about them. My job was to um, speak the lines on the spot, like to do the sound effects, like squeak. They look after each other, they think about each other's feelings. They're also just really good listeners. Yeah, and they're, they're quite playful. The people that live in the we all care about each other. They all were focused and engaged, and so yeah, so I'm happy for that. Their sense of generosity, the generosity that they've brought to the experiences um, will stay with me. We are able to have an exchange with the community that builds a much more meaningful exchange with the students and the school. When the kids have those opportunities of companies coming here and being immersed in it, for some of the kids, it's like a wake up call, you know, and it's like, wow, I actually want to do that when I get older. To see a performance, of whether it's music and singing or acting and theatre and making puppets and lighting, and it, it just opens their mind to go, wow, you can actually do that stuff.